Since 1849, San Francisco has been the home base for many gold mining operations. The monies from the gold fields built this city. Appropriate to the mining tradition, the Gorilla Milling and Mining Corporation is based here. A look at the California map will show that the Gorilla Mines are located 230 miles east of San Francisco. It is an easy five and a half hour drive, provided that you don't get sidetracked by the splendors of Yosemite. After penetrating the majesty of the Eastern Sierras, you will arrive in gold country. Here in the Eastern Sierras, hard rock mining produces load gold, which must be crushed and refined. With the present price of gold, there has been a rush to reopen old hard rock mines. The gorilla mines are now surrounded with reopened mines. The famous and historic standard mines of Bodie to the north have been leased for rejuvenation. The Beauregard mines at Mammoth Lakes to the south are well on their way towards a successful venture. Minerals Management is reviving one of the historically largest gold producers in the Eastern Sierra, the May Lundy. The May Lundy is the immediate next door neighbor of the gorillas. To reach the gorilla mines, after crossing the Sierras, you enter the town of Levining. Levining is a small town, but offers convenient and comfortable lodging. Overlooking Mono Lake, an airport for light aircraft is also available. A good highway leads seven miles north to Lundy Canyon. Here, you can appreciate how nature has embodied its precious metal. This seemingly impregnable citadel is Mount Scowden, guardian of the gorillas. Nestled at its base is the Lundy Lake Resort, a supply station for campers and fishermen. Approximately a mile on this graded road gives us a direct view of the gun site, the gorilla's crowning birthmark. The main portal is crouched below in its shadow. This imposing structure has benefited the gorilla mines. Due to inaccessibility, technology, and tragedy, the gorilla mines remain a maiden among hard rock mines. Historically, the gorillas produced extremely high-grade ore, even outproducing the May Lundy in 1884. The Mining and Science Press and the Engineers and Mining Journal of the period report it stands as one of the best mines in the district. But deaths and injuries from a crashing tram caused her to fall upon hard times. Suits mired her down into inoperation and she was finally lost to individuals without the means and knowledge to resurrect her. Today, accessibility has been enhanced by roads, and technology can penetrate beyond the surface veins.